Mind you, we swore an oath of loyalty, but the rest is deceptive. It's not more speeches in the Senate that will change the world. Rome is dying. My legions are mustering as swiftly as possible. Senators, welcome back to episode 23 in my Stellaris Roman Empire campaign. In the last episode, we continued advancing our technology at a rapid pace, commencing the building of our second megastructure, the Macro Engineering Site. We also saw the elusive Orphan Gate in Traxian space open up, making contact with the Sadrael Exiles for the first time, though we don't really know much about them just yet. We've also now established the Roman Empire as a hegemony, bringing the Tyrene Republic under our command within it. Though we had some initial complications, we should start building our cohesion quite soon. What's most concerning is that the Hazar tribes have unified under a great Khan and are now threatening the stability of the galaxy. We're now in a race against time. Emperor Titus X has halted the construction of the megastructure at Vega, redirecting the alloys to our fleet instead and enabling the use of our exotic gas reserve to increase our fleet speed. We must reach the Ospius system to prepare to defend our territory as the wormhole that's there links directly to the Hazar. And that is what we're going to be focusing on. We need to get our fleets all the way back around our spiral and to Ospius as quickly as possible as the wormhole links directly to two systems over from the current, currently called the Hazar Horde. And of course, three systems over, the Gardener system leads to another wormhole on the eastern part of our space. And you can bet your balls that they're going to be thinking about coming for us as soon as they border up against that, if not even sooner. And that is why I'm now taking things way more seriously and I've stopped the construction of the megastructure. All the alloys are going to go into our fleet. I'm going to now commission the building of our first battle cruiser. Take a look at it. It's called the Marius. It's going to be lit with proton launchers, some medium plasma accelerators, antimatter missiles, and then some large crystal shard throwers. No idea what I'm doing, but proton launchers are going to be doing a lot of damage to armor and hulls, not so much to shields. These kind of make up for that, doing more damage to shields. They all fire at about the same range. So that's what I'm hoping to achieve um, with this, keeping it back at 100 artillery. We're going to should be able to load out about four of these into the main fleet, and we're going to build them right as we're crossing the Tiberium area or just before. In fact, I should actually check how long it takes to make one, uh, which I didn't have a look at. The Marius takes almost a year. Okay, then in that regard, we should just get cracking on it now. So I've added four of them here. That's 3,800 alloys. Boom. So when cancelling the megastructure out there, we got 5,000 back. And uh, I invested into building some shipyards and shipyards out of Trab. We need to just be supplying ourselves all the way out here. I then activated, like I said, the edict for exotic gases as fuel. This meant I actually, actually had to buy some gases on the market. But I think we're golden. I, mean, I don't know if we'll get there first or not, and I'm really worried that we won't. The other thing I've done as well is started building some defense stations here. Uh, the Plumbada, Castra, and Auxilia. I've actually uh, decided on building a few different types of defense stations. Some of that's kind of like medium damage, some that are high damage and long range, and some that are to protect the area itself. Hopefully a bit of a varied balance of things. Just building one of each for now. Uh, we're going to use the rest of the alloys to get that fourth. I just realized something as well, actually. Where are those ships even being built? <clears throat> Calf. I'm confused. Hang on, let me just cancel these. I'm a bit confused here. So we're lacking a few ships. Yeah, no big, no big deal. Let's just reduce that down. That's fine. That's fine. I want you to build the big ones. We're actually lacking the cruisers and everything. Hmm. We must have lost them in battles. I don't recall. 
cannot afford to reinforce fleet. What am I building that I don't have? Maybe we need lytheric gas to actually build them? That could be the case. How do I see the associated costs? Yes. Okay, so we need even more gas. I'm glad I spotted that before just going on. That could have been pretty detrimental. Let's just buy some. We'll fix that in a moment. And now we can afford it. There we go. That's more like it. 4,700 to get these big boys built. 81 uh, crystals. By the way, I found out that in this screen, I can see my living crystal amount. So it wasn't showing in this one, but I can see it right here. So no problems. So there we go. Although, I think I just made the mistake again. I want to build these... Our home station is Tiberium, so what I'm going to have to do is just manually build them. I want to build them here. And churn them out. Okay, I think we can let time play on normal speed. There's not really anything else I need to catch you guys up on. Um, everything's pretty much business as usual. I'm trying to invest into getting even more alloys out of Elysium right now. And the other thing is, the galactic community sent it in recess for 300 days. I want to get the forming council thing up next, but I can't assign my envoy back for 200 days. So I'm going to be watching this, hopefully like a hawk, and not miss that. In 200 days, I'm going to put Medius Minatius back out here so we can get diplomatic weight. Oh, something else I wanted to do was policies. Where are policies? There. Diplomatic stance supremacist. I want increased naval capacity, increased weight from fleet power. Let's go. We're doubling our weight from fleet power. Our current weight from fleet power is something like 600. It's 630, so it should be 1260. Yep, 1260. And that's going to bump us up. We want to get Galactic Council going as soon as possible and then maybe levy something like let's deal with a threat, aka the Hazar Horde. The reason I'm taking this so seriously is just because of the two wormholes. If this was nowhere near me, I'd let these guys fight it out and have a, a great old time. Who knows, the Karelian conservers, if they come into contact, might do something to curtail them. But these guys could be big. I don't know how big they are. 50k, maybe? In, a, in one fleet? So I'd just be worried that they use that 50k against me. I don't know. I have no idea. Um... Oh yeah, so then with regards to the hegemony, what we need to change then is changing the kick members from president to the side, which is me, to majority vote. I'm okay with doing that because we're not going to, they're not going to vote, nobody's going to get kicked, there's only two of us. So I have to get some favors going, I'll give some favors to the Tyrian Republic, hopefully they'll use those favors at some point, because otherwise we won't really be able to get them to change, change their mind after a while. So if that goes through, which it has... That's going to change the cohesion. So now we're only losing point 0.10. That's not too bad. Once we assign an envoy again, we should be fine. But we're going to use that envoy really quickly uh, to just get this to go through next. It's already going through next, but it's just a bit too close. So don't trust it. So I just want to put an envoy out here. 187 days. All right. I think that's pretty much it. Elysium's got unemployment because I moved a bunch of pops out here. And I'm building new alloy foundries and uh, trade and stuff like that. <clears throat> they should be fine, though, once it's out here. I also decommissioned the other districts. Our fleet's definitely moving, yeah? It's on its way. And they're not together, I don't think. They should be moving at different rates. Which I really don't know why the corvettes here are slower than this. They're at level 3. And they're at level 3. Maybe a particularly good commander? Who's leading this? Sublight speed 10%, a scout. Gaius Menatius, of course. Ah, and then he's got the extra 10% because he's aggressive. And then, uh, Ospi or Opsius, of course, is, um, he's got the trickster and scout, right? Oh no, he's adaptable and scout. Okay, so he's got 10%, so a little bit faster, but not, still somehow not as fast as the bigger fleet. I don't know how that's even possible. Energy trades have been cancelled. With our energy reserves depleted, we can no longer retain our trade agreements that depended on this resource. Ah, sh crap. That isn't good. That's the trade with the Enclave. This will fix it. I'll have to see if we can trade with them again. They were out here. Well, the question is, do I even need it? We'll find out. I think I do. Make negative three, I'm guessing this is going to go down to. Just waiting for the month to tick over. It's the 27th. All right, so we're making energy again just fine. But yeah, we are losing minus two. Okay. Uh, well, let's just give me minus two. How about that? Or give me two. 
You gotta have at least a thousand stockpile. All right, fair enough. Yeah, I'm not really too sure what happened to the energy there. Maybe I just miscalculated something, but I'm sure it'll come back up over time, no problem. We've got so much excess food, for instance. It's really not a problem. And we're also making, I think, living crystal and loads of things we could just sell for like quite a lot. Um, so if I wanted to just get a, a dash of energy really quickly, we could do that without much of a concern. Fleet Supremacy. Sublights... Hang on one sec. Sublight speed, 10%. Starting experience is increased. Diplomatic weight from fleet power is also increased. Fleet pirates sighted. Oh, really? At Bernard Star. All right, we can deal with that. Ospius is on the way. He'll, he'll take him out. So we're currently using mining subsidies, which gives us 20% extra minerals, and research subsidies, which gives us 10% extra research. I'm going to get rid of the mining one and go with fleet supremacy. This will hurt my empire sprawl. That's okay. By 25% impact. Let's just turn off the mining one. All right, now we're going even faster. Let's fortify the border. Starbase upgrade speed. Hmm. Interesting. Station under attack. Oh yes, this patrol fleet needed to do more. Did I ever build into that either? Patrol. No, I didn't. You need a couple Pompeii class ships. That's what you need. Where do we get them? It's a bit of an annoyance in terms of alloys to have to do this, but as trade value increases, you kind of have to. We're almost there, though. We'll take them out in no time. It actually gives us a bit of energy, hopefully, if we do it correctly. New technology. Research Institute. Jump drives. Very tempting. <laughs> Always very tempting. System energy grid. That's also tempting. We'll go with... Um, the hyper shields, anything for defense and buffing us up a little bit would be nice. We have 15,000 fleet power and 3,000 in our Corvettes. I reckon we get that 15 to up to about 20 with the upgrades now because a lot of time has passed since we've upgraded. How are they doing, by the way? Have they expanded at all? Not yet, but we're seeing some construction ships move around. They're actually coming our way. They're going straight through the wormhole. Okay, so they have wormhole tech. They might be going to try and get this area? That's the only thing I can think of. Our guy's currently busy. Alright, so the Echo's inside. This is the planet that looked like it should have had life on it or, or something. Something to do with like forests on it, I think. Anyway, surface scans reveal the planet to be covered in desiccated flatlands. Large areas covered in fine dusty sediment. Analysis shows that the sediment traces are, are all that is left of extensive tracts of vegetation that must have died and dried out with unnatural speed. Furthermore, many of the dry patches have crumbled to reveal a vast cave system just beneath the surface. The surveying trip just turned into a spelunking expedition. Let's go find out more about that. Oh, also, we have a relic. What does this do? Its active effect is 25% sublight speed. Hmm, maybe I should have saved my influence. I could have just used this to get 25. Instead, I used an edict that gave me 10. That was silly. Oh, well. Well, I'll use it as soon as we get... If we get, like, a little bit more influence, we can use it. In fact, we can now rival more people, I think. So let's rival site 10667 override again. Can we do that? Nope. Because they're pathetic. What about these guys? Gonna rival them to get that extra influence. They're suspicious of me anyway. Wouldn't like a war opening up with them, though. Search agreement broken with this... Ah, uh, whatever. It's just those guys. Are our ships being made out here yet? Our three battle cruisers are almost done. We wanted a fourth, but it's just a little bit too much for us yet. Maybe next month we can get it. It also costs 27 crystals, which is kind of interesting as well. Spaceport under attack. We can build the next one maybe out here and just pick it up on the way. That's the beauty of it. All right, we're coming into the system into Barnard Star now with um, station lost. our main fleet. So hopefully we can take them out. Advanced afterburners have been finished. Uh, battle cruiser build speed is increased. Build cost is reduced. Ship upkeep reduced. 
Um, or output increase 10%. Let's do output increase. So alloy output 10%. That means we're making 16 more per turn or per uh, month. Let's do that. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, our fleet has arrived. Let's just take them out before they're done with the system. Oh my god, just like annihilated beyond belief. No time for this crap. We're in a hurry. Turmoil, the Royal Zeltec domain is getting a raid from the Bazarin right now. Alright, both of you guys keep going to Tiberium. How are these ships looking, by the way? There they are. 5.7k just for these three ships. It's not bad. Not bad. Not gonna lie, I was expecting a tiny bit more. Not bad, though. They're battle cruisers. Echoes inside continues. It's a very long noise. Using sonar mapping to plot out the vast subterranean network, it eventually became evident that all the caves are interconnected. We have uncovered a massive web of tunnels that crisscross the entire surface of the world. There have been two additional discoveries of notable importance. The first is that the tunnel system is not a natural formation, but rather has been excavated by some titanic force. The second discovery is even more alarming. Seismographic readings prove that something is still burrowing down there. Oh my god. So that seems like... That... There might be something... There might be like a leviathan in there. For all I know. Oh man, if there was ever music to get me going. It's this. The fleets are on the way. And we have a dry dock and several shipyards here. They should upgrade very fast, indeed. So I look forward to seeing that. Spaceport Enter orbit. Attack. Enter orbit. Spaceport under attack. Don't tell me they've come through already. Their construction ships have. They're expanding. It looks like they actually destroy territory rather than just take it. Which is also quite interesting. Hmm. They haven't engaged this... Two, three thousand Starfleet. I haven't seen their ships yet. Open markets or entete coordination? Entete coordination? Let's go with open markets for trade value increase. Galactic community. I forgot to look at it because I'm an idiot, but we got lucky. Form Galactic Council is the one going through and it's being pushed through, so that's good. Success. So, in that case, we don't need an envoy on the Galactic community. We'll put our other envoy out here, Matthias Nacius. I should give us 0.90 cohesion. So that's starting to go back up our way now. Slowly but surely. We're making six influence. Great. All right. Are the ships in position? We've got a very real sense of immediacy and urgency right now. We need to upgrade very fast and get out of here. All right. You and you. Combine. Enter orbit. And now as well as that, really you can just start upgrading. So you just go upgrade right now. 21.1k, let's go. That's what I like to see. Thick numbers. 58%, very fast. This is going very fast. I love to see it. All right, 95%. 25,000. We just added 10k to our fleet with the upgrade in the three ships. Fleets in all right, let's go. That was so fast. Let's go. <laughs> All right, the Corvettes, though, aren't done yet. They need to upgrade now. Theirs is also pretty quick. Look at the speed! All right, they're good to go. Ospius, get to Ospius. Your system is in danger. Uh, now, we need to build a new cruiser at Trab. I don't know if we can get it done quickly enough. I think we'll reach here before the year is out. So what I'll do, maybe to speed stuff up a bit, buy some alloys. Ah, we need way more actually than I can really buy. Yeah, so we'll just have to leave it be. This is what we, this is the best we can do. Keeping an eye on this area. If they get to this wormhole, technology or discovered. this one, they have one jump to get to us. We have a 26k defense base here. Now, I was kind of willy-nilly putting down defenses and stuff here. Let's really have a look at what we have at our disposal. At our disposal. 
Nanite Dispensary Field. Effect on hostile ships. Armor notification 20. Let's go. That'll be the first thing we get. All right, let's keep an eye on it. Advanced weapon types. I have no idea what that means, but I look forward to seeing it. Climate restoration claim costs. Ship upkeep reduced and upgrade costs reduced. Yes. All right. Inc better weapons or something. So let's see what that's all about. What does that mean? Not seeing anything. It's all like the usual stuff. Unless I'm missing. Maybe is there like new types of cores or something like that? Nope. Don't think so. But maybe it's um, technologies that we can get then. Like new technologies that have better weapons. We still have everything I'm used to seeing, so not too sure. What I'm referring to, just in case I glanced over it a bit too quickly there, is this. Uh, sorry. New Age Warfare. Unlocks development of advanced weapon types. So maybe it is, it says unlocks development of. So maybe that's just what you need for another technology to kind of occur. It could be the case. Now I wonder, Kozier Trade League, how's it going? I wonder, would you give me alloys? Would that ever occur to you? For something. Like, I've got lots of other stuff, so. So, something for 42. Let's see. Um, I mean, I have a lot of minerals. No, not budged by that. Okay, living crystal. They like the sound of that a little bit. Yep, that's good. What about Zero? Let's throw some in there as well. You love, you love your Zero. How much of that do we have? We've got 400 of it. So they'll give me 2,000 alloys. Well, let's just crank this all the way up and see how much they've really got to offer. 400 Zero. We don't need Zero for building anything right now. I don't think so. But we do need the crystal, so I'd rather even not give that away. So 4,000 alloys. Wow, they got a pretty decent bank to them. This is awesome. Okay, yeah, let's go. 4,000, 300 alloys for 400 Zero and some living crystal. We're reviewing your proposal. Thank you. Alright, we got it. It was accepted. After reviewing the trade offer, Supervisor Hakanu has decided to accept it. We'll tell Supervisor Hakanu we appreciate the support. So at this shipyard, which is our furthest out shipyard that we can really use, we want to get one more battle cruiser. <clears throat> Let's just see in our main fleet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, classes 1. Yeah, get rid of the raiders. They're obviously long gone. We have one more cruiser set to be made and be to arrive in this fleet. And then it's stuff like... That we won't really have the fleet command limit for anything else. I mean, I guess I could get two more. Oh, no, I'm wrong. We could get a few more. Let's round this up to 30. Let's leave it like that. So that's a total of 5,200... Um, and 35, yeah. So that's exactly what we need. Okay, cool. Yeah, we could do it. So three Hastari Corvettes and three battle cruisers. All right, there's three. Let's get them. Let's get them cooking. And they're just gonna be waiting at Trab for the uh, fleet to get there. Yeah, that sounds good to me. I could just do it where they, you know, go to the system, but if we're constantly moving around, I'd rather just know where they're going to be made and pick them up. We just got to keep an eye on this area down here like a hawk. Still, this fleet stands. I mean, maybe I'm overreacting. Maybe they'll never come this way, but I think it's better just as once we're at that system, at least then I can say, we take a breather and look at our options. <clears throat> Archaeological site. The echo's inside. A single worm-like... A single worm-like creature of gargantuan proportions is re responsible for the tunnels uh, the tunnels dug, or rather eaten, through the crust of Bangaho 3A. The process is slowing down, most likely because the giant worm is slowly starving. It's responsible for the dead vegetation. Once it fed by burrowing close to the surface and excreting an enzyme that broke down organic matter, which seeped into the soil and nourished the beast. To nourish the beast. The worm is not indigenous to this planet, and as yet, we have no clue how it ended up here. 
Yeah, that's an int that's a pretty cool one actually. If it's not if it is it's not from here, it's almost like a bio bio weapon in a way. It's eating all the vegetation, excreting something that breaks down organic compound, and then basically just eventually dies. Uh, I'm neglecting things on planets, so let's see. Build that to fix your unemployment. A couple of these. Our resort world is going through some problems. Uh, Senate house, commercial zones, and you're looking to build a planetary shield generator? No, no, no. You need houses first. Luxury residence residences only give three housing. I don't know if there's a building that gives more than three. It seems like that's it. That seems so limited. You need four of those just to contain what we have. Yeah, that seems rough, because you can't build anything to give them extra housing. I mean, this would be upgrade and give five more housing, so I guess I'll do that as well. Alright, good. Tempting to look at our options in terms of perks and see, like, if we get into a fight, is there anything we could use? The Arcology Project is also tempting. Create Ecumenopolis worlds. We have one. We're getting one already. But obviously, to be able, to be able to, the, the ability to make our own... Seems like something we're going to eventually get. But I'll just keep waiting. I'm not quite ready for it yet. Eternal Vigilance. Star based damage, 25%. Hull points increased, etc, etc. Hmm. What are we up to now at Os Os Opsius? 26k? Nanite Dispensary Field. It's not done yet. How is our current situation? Forming the Galactic Council? It's being proposed by the Tyrene Republic. Legends. Uh, yeah, we're dominating. That and the vote is... Heavily coming towards our favor. Obviously, the top three... You'd, you'd think that Construct nobody else would want it high. apart from the top three. Unless someone's so weak that they're like, yeah, we need it. You know? We need someone to take control. Interesting, nevertheless. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Oh, my God. All right, we have our first sight, our sighting of the enemy fleet, and it is, it's actually kind of on par with what I was thinking, but this is one. Oh no, it's three, it's three fleets obviously together. But I'm seeing more here, it says 50K. I'm obviously not looking at something, right? There must be another one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's way more than I thought. I thought one fleet might be 50K and they maybe would have two. Well, let's see what they're rocking. This is, I mean, if these guys come through, I don't even know if we could beat them. That's how significant that is. That's like so significant. They want those raider ships back. Because <laughs> we have two of them. The HMS Glabadosh, an ancestral glory class. That seems to be messed up. Even split between that uh, damage to flak. So they have point defenses, but it's not against weapons. It's against cruisers or fighter craft. So I don't have fighter craft right now. Hadn't built that yet. So that's good. Because they have four of these ships that might take them out. And what are they rocking here? A little heavier on the armor, I would say, than the shields. So maybe there might be something we could do there. I don't really have the time to upgrade, though, at this point even as we go further down. They seem even to me. Maybe they're a little bit more damaged to shields, I would say. Yeah, seems like it. Slightly. Slightly. Yeah, they're leaning slightly to more towards more shield damage from what I can gather. Level 2 hyperdrives are a little faster than them at jumping. They have a lot of different ships, though. Level 3 tech. If we could just produce more ships, we'd be fine. It's just that, obviously, we have a bottleneck of alloys right now. Which is why I'm trying to increase our production on uh, Elysium. We have 42. So any, any unemployment we have, we need to just redistribute to Elysium right now. We don't have any. We have none. Apparently Appia has some, though. I don't know why I can't see it. Appia? Like, Appia there. It says, that has pops that could be put to work. Not seeing them in this. Where the hell is Appia? It's right there. Normally it says like you know a little symbol here, unemployment. 
Let's just move to Appia then, see what's going on. It's a slave. Okay, maybe it just happened and it didn't register yet. I don't know. Alexandria's got some unemployment too. Okay. Right, so let's have a look now on Elysium. 84 pops, our biggest world yet. Building a new city district for the extra housing that we need to fit all these people. And then we're going to have to improve this to get more jobs. We need some more volatile moats though. Moats is declining, only slightly. Energy's not in a great way either. Let's sell some minerals that we have. Let's sell monthly minerals. It's probably better off for us anyway. Oh, I didn't mean to change it. Okay, that should buff our energy up a little bit. At least uh, consumer goods is really high now. Maybe a little too high. Let's sell some. Okay, so energy should start coming up a lot more, a lot quicker. And then we can do something like buy moats and things like that. We can also build moats, obviously, if we have an empty slot somewhere. It doesn't matter where, we'll figure it all out later. It's just chemical plants. Chemical can plants, please. Let's keep an eye on that. They're one jump away. Okay, luckily they're going this way. At least some of them are. We're still, like, nowhere near where we need to be. Our fleet's all the way back at Appia. We need to get over to Ospius. It's so far. And we're commissioning the building of the stuff at Trab. Our corvettes are done and waiting as well. Okay, cool. Alright, so something I need to do is make sure our patrols are back up and running. Because I turned some of them off. Patrol 3. You guys need to head down to Colonia Pacifica. Patrol 2 is on their route and Patrol 1 is on their route. Okay, that's fine. Excellent. Doing the best I can. Relic activation now available. Let's go. I'm going to do it. Blade of the Huntress modifier added, giving following sublight speed 25%. So 25%. We're going to get there 25% faster. Pretty much. Construction All right, let's online. go. I want to see some speed. That's what I like to see. Look at that. Look at that speed. That's just one of our patrol fleets doing their thing. Okay, I don't see anything down there anymore right now, but for now, what we'll do is just... We got the Nanite Dispensary field. Uh, so let's get something else. Hyperlane Registrar. Um, no. Disruption field generator, so shield hit points, negative 20%. Okay, so we're taking 20% of their armor and shields away with these two buildings, if we fight them there. I worry that they're going to come through right before I get there, though. They might come through down here, and if they do, it's actually maybe not as bad for us. They might collapse the entire right side, but New technology at least we can hold at Ospius. A lot of trade flows through there, you know? It's kind of why I want to protect it. But ultimately, it would be nice if they went to Ospius and we were there. That would be the ideal situation. Can't upgrade any further. What's our next technology? Ship, ship upkeep cost has been reduced. Naval capacity can be increased. Starbase capacity. Create a thrall world. Purpose built to maximize the growth rate of its enslaved population. Hmm. Let's go with the naval cap. Man, uh, Emperor Titus has his work cut out for him, I think. What's his job as well? Logistics, understanding, and space miner. That's his uh, specialties, I should say. Oh, my days. All right. Um, all right, well, the Federation's getting better, although there's like 90 months to go. Or what would it be? 60 months, probably, until this gets to be breaking even. It's quite a long time. Uh, but both our envoys are listed here. Is there any other law we could... Remove monthly cohesion, negative 0.25. 
So let's see what's doing the cohesion problems. The fleet contribution levels. Uh, and the president decides the invites. So they're very opposed to me changing that. They're not so opposed to me changing this one. So let's do that. That's all the favors I can give them then. I hope they use them. They don't seem to ever use them. All right, they agreed, which means now we're increasing at 1.15, so it's a bit faster. Very slightly, but a little bit. All right, alloy production has gone up just slightly. Starbase defense station level two. Not sure what that necessarily is, but I guess stronger defenses, so either way sounds good to me. Did we ever get that gene modification, by the way? Did I ever do that? Gene modification. Oh, I never did. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. We're busy with society right now. So we can we have gene modification technology. I just forgot to do it last episode, I guess. Despite us getting the uh the vote for it and everything. Alright, all right, you gotta wait here for a sec. As we're linking up with those Corvettes and our... Oh my god, this is almost perfect timing. Our battle cruisers have just come out as well. That is almost perfect timing. So good. All right, 32,000. I mean, 32,000 though against what was it? Like 100k? <laughs> Something huge? If they're all combined? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to make a stand. I don't care. I don't care. We have to make a stand. I'm not going to sit there. And just watch our territories collapse. They're one jump away. And they've got 80,000. technology discovered. They're heading a different direction though. Oh my god, thank god. Alright, thank the gods, I should say. I, I'm guessing they'll be quite not likely to come through if we're just there as well though. That's another thing. And then something we can be doing now that we're moving our fleet here. I probably won't be able to build into the fleet for a while. Let's just get more defense stations rolling. Right after this. New technology done. Hyper shields. Jump drive neutron launchers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tachyon sensors. I don't know if I need that. Tracking's increased though, which is kind of nice. This seems probably more useful. Just straight up power. There's no station around here, though, that I could go and actually get those upgrades. I'd have to go all the way back to Trab. That's way too far. Um, so, I don't know. Could I just maybe build one? That's kind of a waste of alloys to just build one just to repair, to upgrade. Or it's either that or demolish some of the defenses, which I don't think is a smart idea. I could get rid of just one defense, put a shipyard there, and that way... Oh, no! I know what to do. Dry dock. That's what we do. That way we can upgrade and everything. We don't need a shipyard. That's kind of ridiculously overpowered, I think. <clears throat> but okay. Definitely get a dry dock. That's five shipyards. We could just sit here then and just upgrade constantly and be alright. Yeah, they've destroyed like all the territory around them. And then I guess they expand out into it. And they're also just laying down planets immediately. Archaeological site discovered. The endless expanse. This is all the way out. Oh, that's really close by. It was discovered by the Tyrene Republic. That's kind of nice. Uh, yeah, well, we could go out and get that. We'd have to spend some influence to get there. <clears throat> that's 163 influence. I guess it's because we have to build here and then skip over one. Oh, we've got to have any influence. Uh, frozen complex. Another one. Two were just discovered. This one's out in the site 10667 override. Alrighty. Well, we're certainly getting prepared. And we're certainly almost there. Where's our Corvettes, actually? Corvettes are on the way. He just took a different route. Uh, that's fine. Ospius likes to go through the Tyrene Republic just to, sh just to you know, a little... 
show him who's what, uh, what's what, you know, go through his conquered territories that he took part in. Although he, I guess he wasn't really in the Tyrene War. He's more Norilga. But either way, it's kind of asserting dominance, I would say. Mm -hmm. 32,000. I mean, I think I did pretty... I mean, I doubled my fleet strength in the co course of this episode. But it's just so underwhelming. Or demotivating when you see how much they've got. But they would do well not to come through. And the other cool thing is that we might then, in 900 days, if all things go well, uh, we may have the Galactic Council formed and have some special abilities. I've never been on it. Don't actually know what we can do with that. But I do know that there's something like, you know fight the galactic threat type thing. Am I forgetting anything big? Edicts, for instance. Recycling campaigns, less consumer goods. Let's do that. Terraforming gases, terraforming speeds increased. And we could obviously do as many of these as possible. Really, we need way more moats so we can add up boost our own armor, boost our explosive uh, stuff and things like that, boost our crystals. So really, my economy for special resources is quite bad. Um, like, I stay ahead of it all the time, but it is just generally n not the best. But it's because I'm so focused on trying to build up my alloys right now, to be honest. Uh, so there's some unemployment on Hades. Let's just move them off. Put them on Elysium for now. actually just a little bit of unemployment here oh yeah because we wanted to get more moats can I just buy some then boom so we'll upgrade that building that's even more moats to upkeep though but at least we give everyone that job and then we'll just build more housing so Elysium is filling up big time unrest hallowed Following a time of social unrest on Site 1066-7, we are receiving reports of increased spiritualist activity among the populace, seemingly as a reaction to the uncertainties of their circumstances. Makeshift shrines are being erected and people are forming new social bonds over their shared faith. What? It's just machines, though. How odd. Oh no, we do have some pops that are not just being purged. Let's get these off the planet immediately. Send them to Elysium. Send everything to Elysium. So anything that's not being killed, move. Yeah, I need to turn off that robotics building. <laughs> That's a lot of energy I just spent on moving these guys. It's almost all my energy. Alright, no one's left on the planet except the ones that are dying. The robot making buildings are gone as well. Okay. Should not be a problem anymore, hopefully. Kosher trade leave expanded into this area now. Is the fleet there? We made it! I can't believe we made it. I really thought they would just really rush through. Enter orbit. It's a beautiful thing to behold. Upgrade your ships. Oh wait, we haven't got the dry dock yet, so just stay here, it's fine. The echoes inside continues. This is the kind of ruined world or whatever that we think something's uh, the, the alien worm that's massive, that's starving. All right, further scans of the planet's surface picked up a single artificial artificial structure. It appears to be an old abandoned science outpost of alien design, and it stands alone in a desert of dust and ash. Speculatively, translated research logs speak of a biological terror weapon, one that lies dormant in the soil of a planet until activated. There see their once verdant... I don't really know what this is tr even trying to say. Um, sorry. Oh, I skipped over a whole sentence. The unfortunate beings lived there. Ah, I got it. So, my bad. I read it bad. Hands in the air. This is on me. The unfortunate beings living there see their once verdant home turned inexorably, inexorably into a lifeless desolation. One excerpt is particularly ominous. The larva seeding project is on schedule, and soon most of the known habitable planets in the galaxy 
will have a sleeper. That's fucked up. That is worrying. You'd be like, what? Every planet has one? That'd be terrifying. That'd be insane. <laughs> I'm just like realizing the gravitas of that. Sorry, I messed up reading it. But yeah, that's pretty cool. That's cool. I don't know how I read that wrong. I just skipped over like five words. Not even a full sentence. It's very weird. Is that finished? That's just done. Okay. That's just done. Apparently, that's all we need to know about that. Damn. That has me pretty scared. Well, we got some society out of it. Nothing too crazy. Numeria Curtilia. Give me the heebie-jeebies. Alright, dry dock done in 50 days. Let's see what's going on out here. They're not coming through just yet. We're just gonna chill back. I mean, as long as we can just buy ourselves some time and build that fleet. We should be okay if we just keep upgrading it and everything. Now, now we can, with the dry dock, we can also build like some battleships and things that cost a lot of alloys. We have 2,700. We're making 130 per day or per month. The Corvettes are here as well. Everyone's here. I don't know if I've got a crew quarters here. I don't, I don't think I do. No, it's the War Memorial. And this is going to be the dry dock. So yeah, we need crew quarters to ease up on our strain. So 35,000? 37,000 total? With some thick ships at the back. I don't think I'll go with the strike craft, the, the individual strike fighters and stuff, just because of the flak that we saw. And then we have some of our defense stations are in place as well. So that's a total of 57, 63 fleet power just in this entire area. And if they come in here, they're going to be weaker. So, I don't know, feeling pretty good now. <laughs> if they come through there, if they go through the other one, not so happy. But we're gonna have to just invest into that one too. I mean, we have the alloys, so we should maybe do it now. So this can start building some of the same stuff, just in case we do man manage to get down there, if we see this kind of similar thing happening. So that's the shield and armor nullification. This can actually upgrade into a citadel. What? Oh my. Did we just get that technology? Hmm, a while ago. I didn't realize that. Definitely upgrade it. That would take three, six, nine, twelve. Oh, like five years? That is a lot. I feel like we could just use the alloys better ourselves. Something else I'm gonna do as well. Let's, um,. Reorganize a bit. This big fleet doesn't necessarily need these 30 Corvettes anymore. So I might remove them off and put them onto Ospius's fleet, Classes 2, which is all Corvettes right now. Because there's a lot of Corvettes just taking up a bunch of space. If we keep these fleets together, it's not a big deal, and we can just have one thick fleet. I think it might be better served. Might work out better. I'll need to go through and check on the... Um... Oh, also something I didn't do. Was the Marius needs to auto upgrade? All right, cool. New technology discovered. All right, well, I mean, I think I positioned us as best as I can, uh, all things considered. If they come through, they come through. We fight. At the moment, they're just laying waste to the territories down here. The war is still ongoing with the Sadril exiles and their equivalent technology and economy. These guys are inferior. It looks like they lost their fleet. So the war doesn't look to be going so well for them. It's 32% war exhaustion for the attacker. Actually, the Traxians are winning then. Technically. Starbase Defense Station Level 2. Starbase Defense Fortress. So, is that just a different type of... Oh, Defense Platform. Then we have Defense Station. I see. And then you have a Defense Fortress. Oh my god, this must get huge then, eventually, for defense. I like the sound of it, though. Might as well get it to have be prepared. Unless there's something else immediate that I should get. Corvette hull? Like, I don't know if I'll be building, excuse me, any one of these immediately. Because they probably cost a lot of alloys. But at the same time, it might not come up again for a while, so let's get it now. Alright. 
How's that galactic vote going? 700 days to go. All right, still got some time in the episode. Our cohesion is tipping back up the correct way. Luckily, the Tyrene Republic have an envoy here. Because if they didn't, I don't know if we'd ever get cohesion to be doing what we want it to be. <clears throat> Diverse Ethics 4. Negative 0.60. So is it point 0.2 for each ethic that's diverse? Because these are opposing. That might be why. And then maybe also the ones that are just straight up different. Yeah, that could be it. Oh yeah, diverse ethics four, and then opposing. So we've only got one opposing eth opposing ethic. It's a bit unfair that it doesn't necessarily count fanatic ethics the same as non-fanatic ethics, even if they're aligned. You know, like I've got anthropocentrism, but they're fanatic anthropocentrism. So you think like it's like yeah, well we. We might approach it slightly differently, but we agree, like how, like what we're we're kind of doing. It's like if someone's fanatically militarist, but someone's like, ah, oh, I'm just militarist. I don't know. It's like it's a part of our government, but it's not the sole purpose of it. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm not thinking of it correctly. But anyway, these two are correct. These two are correct. Militarist is not, and then the anthropocentrism. So see, if we were to let's say reform our government and we decided to go fanatic anthropocentrism and ditch the militarism, we would align pretty well. Or if we cut out the spiritualism or something like that. I don't know if we could ever make the Tyrene Republic do it. Maybe. Elysium has unemployment. 14 unemployment. That's egregious. 14 pops not doing anything. All the slaves and stuff we moved here. Well, we're about to get new alloy foundries. And then we're going to get a city district. And then we're going to get more alloy foundries. <laughs> so, putting them all to work, hopefully. This should go from two jobs to five, I think. It's going to get five more. Okay, cool. Naval cap has just gone up. Ship fire rate and a command center. Yeah, let's do that then. Command matrix. Restructuring the chain of command and deciding what interdependencies are set between officers make fleets more responsive and more effective. Excellent. We're also about to get our neutron launchers. We're about to get thick. <laughs> Maybe when I get my 5k alloys, I can start investing back into that um, mm -hmm. megastructure site again. I'm gonna turn this one into a citadel, seeing as that's the one that's not manned right now. And then this one after. Natural wormhole, the Opsius wormhole. Who knew Opsius? It would be so contentious and so important. While their borders are closing up against themselves, they haven't pushed into either of the uh, towards either either wormhole yet. I feel like this could have went very different. Maybe I've overreacted, but I think it's I think it was the right thing to do. But it turns out we did not need to be activating maybe the relics and everything, just the, all that speed that we were using to get over here. Maybe we didn't need that. 8,000 fleet power now, or di uh, diplomatic weight, I should say. So we just finished... Let's just change that. We just finished our dry dock. So let me just check this out. So that is just a building without a shipyard. But it is a shipyard. So let's see. Upgrade. Yeah, it's working. Hostile just like that. Within range. <laughs> Oh wow, we detected it through the secondary wormhole. Fleet upgraded. Well, they're staying together. And they got some thick ships. Holy shit. New technology discovered. They're heading right towards the Gardner system. Gardner, that means they're going to be on top of our first wormhole for the first time. Do we come down here and try to meet them here? We're still building things. It's... What we could do if they go through there is go through our own. I think that's probably what I'll do and start eating away at them. We got to take the fight to them if they're going to be like... if they, Because what am I, what else am I going to do? Just sit back. Like, if they come through the Walmoro system, 
which is uh, where Gardner links to. And they start coming up here and they take out this base, which they obviously will. And they start pushing up. It takes them a long time for them to get here. I'm not just going to sit there and wait. I think I would go through here and force them to turn around. Or maybe make them think about turning around. And if we had, let's say, um, our army with us, Queso's Conquerors, maybe we could take some places out and slow them down. Neutron launchers are done. Gateway travel. Man, I could have used that a while ago. Um, I want the gateway travel. Allows us to activate gateways and travel through them. So we could activate that. I don't know if there's any other active gateways anywhere, though. But if there was, that'd be pretty cool. We, we have another one, so we could always just hop. We don't have to ever do that long journey around again. We'll just go straight through. If we wanted to. But maybe we don't need it right now. I don't know. It's a rare tech. I have to get it if it, if it appears. It's just the only other thing is something that obviously like helps with fire control. Like anything for military right now is so valuable. Cyclonic defectors, deflectors. Shield regen and all that stuff. It's crazy. Oh, that's why our things have gone down. We built so many weapons that are consuming them, I think. Oh, no, 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 no. Fleets don't consume them over time. They just consume them when you build them. Okay. We're about to run out of rare crystals. Gotta sort that out. I used to buy crystals for energy from the Enclave. So let's do that now. Oh, and someone told me in the comments, by the way, that a star base could have been built here and we could have got the... I might just do that now. That I looked over the building. Oh, the bigger you go, the more you need in your reserve. That's quite interesting. Okay. Uh, well, let me just sell some resources. All right, great. Yeah, I think because it's a rare tech, I'm going to have to get it. But I'm itching to get these other ones. S advanced fire control systems. Chance to hit and tracking. I don't know if we'd use it. And then the power one, though, is pretty cool. Keep it on gateway travel for now. That's intense. Let's keep an eye on what they're doing. Yeah, they're not stopping. They're just going straight through to the next area. Gardener. 50, 60, 70, 80. It's hard to count it up. So let's say 40, 50, 60, 70, 120, 130. Fleet power all together. If they stay together. But it looks like they're going to hit that wormhole that's not so important. Or the, the, the one that's further away, I mean. They went past it. They're just taking out the system first. But let's see if they turn around. Ultimately, they look for planets to take, and this one is in range of what's going to be our Ecumenopolis world. Our Ecumenopolis is here. And the Scythia system. And we were 800 days away from getting it. I don't know about you, but it looks like they're heading through the wormhole. <laughs> and that's where we're going to have to leave the episode, I'm afraid. So join me in the next episode to see what happens. Unfortunately, I do not get to react to any comments or advice until the next episode. So I'm going in blind. But it looks like that the Hazar horde is going to be coming through at Walmoro. We're going to be intercepting them with our base here, although there's not much of a defense there. And then what I'm probably going to do is once we just do a little another upgrade with our fleet very quickly, because I think we can get the... Let's just double check, actually. Proton launchers, wasn't it? So let's go Marius, this... Neutron launchers. We're lacking power if we want to get up to that next level. 
<laughs> well, I'm gonna make the executive decision and say, screw gateway travel for now. We need zero point power. 16 months. Once we get that, we hit the upgrade. Our ships become way more powerful and we push straight through this wormhole and go back and hit them in the south. And what we need to do is catch up with our uh, armies. And I accidentally, again, left them behind, but they're on their way over now. All right. So that's going to be it. That's the plan. It's either that or sit here and let everything burn. But I can't face them off down here unless I've got a starbase advantage, you know? So ultimately, the whole goal about... There, there's even more of them. That's not, this isn't even the whole thing. I don't even know what we're going to do. They have 120,000 coming from us there. And then at Blorg's Bane, we can see that they've actually not got as much as I thought. It's mostly star bases. And then loads of assault armies and stuff. We could also start investing in strongholds. That might be something I do. All right, I'll look into it in between episodes. We have tons of minerals, so we could definitely put them down. All right, that's going to be it. That's getting pretty crazy. To be quite frank, and this vote is about to go through in a year and a half for us to have a galactic council, and we're going to do everything in our power to immediately get everyone on these guys, on the Hazar Horde. Even if it's not just to distract them, well, it give us time to build up our technologies. Uh, but we do have alloys, we have a good income of alloys, and we have plenty of room in our naval caps, so we just need to start cranking out like another fleet. Like I said, I might put everything down into Classes 1, and then just build out the battle cruisers and the other cruisers that we have. Alright, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.